Okay, so we looked uh, the last time just at some of the patterns you could do with the, um, your right hand. And one of the questions that I'm sort of often asked is um, about the, if you're playing, uh, say, in like a 4 4 time. Um, so, say we take uh, maybe a song like Every Breath You Take um, by the police. Um, if you look at a song like that, the, the pattern needs to, because it's basically in 4 4, the pattern needs to be sort of a multiple of 4 in some way or other. <clears throat> so, if I did something like that, Obviously, the actual. I'm just doing it, still doing just the chords of G, C, and D just now, but obviously, you play the chords for that song if you were doing it. But, um, so what I'm doing here is in order to, to make it work for a 4 4 pattern, I'm always starting starting every new bar with the bass note. Um, I, I prefer to do that because I just feel as if that sort of solidifies a little bit what we're, we're doing, it sort of defines the first beat of the bar. And also, now I'm going to do a, a pattern which is my thumb and then my first finger, second, back to my first. So I'm going to go third, first, second, first. So that's the bass note, first, second, first, third, first, second. First, if I speed it up slightly, when you go to C chord, um, you do exactly the same thing, but move everything down one string. And again, move your thumb down to full string. And then back to... So the rhythm there is like going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four, etc, etc. So you've really got um, like one and two and three and four and so you're basically playing like eight um, notes through that pattern. The, the basic beat would just be going one, two, three, four, and your part your pattern over that would be one and two and three and four and. Obviously the, the actual song has got slightly altered chords in it, that's just a very, very basic uh, version of that. But I think the, the important thing is to get to the point where you're, you feel quite confident with your right hand movement. If you find this quite difficult and you're struggling a bit with it, I wouldn't really um, you know, be too surprised by that. There's no real reason why we should suddenly have a fantastic right hand picking technique. Um, as I was explaining before, I don't come from a classical background and I don't come from a folk or traditional background so um, I literally just started playing acoustic guitar and just made it up and um, I didn't really do sort of proper exercises and things that the way, the way you know you maybe should have done from the start so I learned a lot of things by default um, by accident and also I think the other thing is I realised what would be important for me on the guitar so sometimes I think people, when they see exercises and, and things, they get a little bit um, you know, wary of the fact that there's a lot of, um, you know, sometimes exercises and you know different things on the guitar can be a little bit boring for people. Um, and what I would do is, if I would have an end game with this, I would look at being able to get to the point where you can you know, sing along with the song if you, if you can sing, or play along with somebody else, or play along with the original track, whatever it happens to be. Um, obviously, you know, I'm just doing everything with simple chords here just now. You can change to 
another key you can you know either put a, a cap on or you can you know play different chords whatever you're doing um, regardless of what chord you're playing if I played something like that so that would be like an E flat chord there but the right hand thing would be the same so it wouldn't really matter too much what key you're in either once you can do that technique and you've got it then it will work for every key pretty much um, obviously if you're a kind of singer songwriter type of person then putting a cap on is a good way of being able to just keep these um, familiar chords and play the same patterns just use the capo to enable you to move up and down the neck to change the key which should be pretty cool um, so this is a um, pattern in 4-4 sort of similar to the every breath you take sort of vibe 